Hey guys, it's Rob Seebeck with Paperless Student. Today's video is a demonstration of how I use liquid text for study. I will explain different functions that I use when I study and I'll be telling you why I use them. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe because I release a new video every Saturday and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. So let's jump right into this video. On the screen right now, I have my Safari open on the left and my liquid text on the right. I like starting with Safari open to check for spellings, definitions of words that I don't understand, or just to look up images of the stuff that I'm studying because I am a visual learner. So for me, sometimes it helps me understand and map ideas into my head when I have images to associate them with. So liquid text is a very powerful mind mapping tool. So basically all I do when I'm preparing my notes is select sections from the PDF using this text select tool and it highlights the section that I am selecting. Then I can just drag it and drop it into my notes canvas. Now I'm just checking the anatomy of the nail. Um, it helps me understand, you know, like I've already mentioned, it helps me understand when I have a visual picture to link ideas and words too so the cool thing about dragging text into my canvas is that i can always go back to the original text in the pdf by simply tapping the blue arrow at the top here so in case i don't understand why i selected a, a part or maybe when i look back at my notes it doesn't really make sense i can just tap the blue arrow and it will take me back to the passage where i took the notes that I have or where I took that little section it saves me a lot of time from now so that I don't have to navigate through the PDF all over again looking for different sections that I've already gone through so I mostly use mind maps when I study because they help me piece different pieces of information together and this helps me understand how they relate to each other because that's just my study method and liquid text is a great rough book for that and especially when I don't have time to write notes i can just have all my notes and my pdfs linked together in liquid text and for me that's really something that's really important that i can have my original notes like lecture notes slides everything and have my personally handwritten notes in the same application this is the main strength that i think liquid text has over other PDF annotating applications. So I mentioned at the beginning of the semester that I no longer use GoodNotes as my main PDF editor and some of you guys were wondering why I do that. I no longer use it because my because of my current studying pattern which changes per subject and I personally can't track all of it really because it depends on my professor, it depends on my professor's teaching style and how much work I need to study for that um, subject and how much time i have to study for the subject and sometimes if it's sometimes the subject can have a lot of information like neurology for example it has a lot of information but i love it so it's not very difficult for me to understand neurology whereas if you make me study something i don't really enjoy that much but have to study i need to put more effort and i need to like for concentrate on it a lot more really the application that i choose depends on the app on the subject that i'm studying some subjects they're not very complicated others are more complicated and require more time because of that i find myself switching from different applications but i have a, a system that i use so that i don't have to waste time looking for my notes so i know exactly where my notes are and if I just think of a subject, I know what application I used as my PDF editor and what application I used um, for writing my notes. But at the moment, this semester, so far, since the beginning of the semester, I've been using Liquid Text as my main note taking application. And unfortunately, sometimes when I'm studying, I don't really remember um, to record my screen and record everything for you guys. But if you guys are interested in seeing my study sessions, um, maybe as vlogs or just my screen just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do for you guys that said I must emphasize that um, what works for me might not necessarily work for you um, but I can show you what I'm doing and maybe it'll help you maybe give you an idea of how you can design your own workflow and find out what works for you because I've had some of you guys telling me that you've bought all the applications that I have um, which is flattering um, and super cute but um the reason why i'm doing these videos and the reason why i'm showing you guys how i am studying as a paperless student is so that you don't have to go through 
all the applications like i did i will tell you what each application does i can show you how it's working for me and i can tell you why it hasn't worked for me so that you know exactly what you can get for yourself and you can save some money um so yeah this video just has a lot of dragging and dropping um really because when i was studying this particular topic i wasn't actually studying the topic i was more like um just putting ideas together so i could write proper notes for it so that's pretty much what i have done for this particular video but with time as i continued using liquid text i've realized that i tend to write more um, i tend to actually physically copy out the notes as it helps me study and helps me connect ideas so that i don't have to you know waste time just preparing to write notes and not really actually getting anything out of it so i find it's easier it's great for me to connect um sections of my notes and sections of the pdf but most of the time i'm writing out um, my notes you can also customize the sections that you drag and drop though i hardly do that but you could highlight them and have them in different colors maybe if you want to color code your ideas that's a, a great way of doing this but i will show you everything about this application in the next video that i'm going to be doing on everything you need to know about liquid text it's a great note taking application and i'm sure a lot of you guys will find it interesting and that you will like it um so like i've already mentioned i do a lot of writing in this application and writing in this application is great it feels very natural and they have very um fluid tools pen tools i don't know how to explain that but i think their pens are the closest to an actual physical pen feel that you get like when you're using when you're writing in the application this is the application that i found feels really close to um, pens that we use physically so i really like that and when you highlight sections the the highlights and annotations are added to the left side of the uh, of your notes there's a, a little small bar that they show you all your highlighted sections and i think that's really good for easier access if you just want to look something up quickly you can um just look it up on the side you don't have to go through everything to search your notes you can just you know they will have a little section of like your annotations and your um highlights on the side on the left side so um when i'm done going through my notes i find um I write better notes when I have my mind maps for my notes so this has really become a big part of my study because um, mind maps help me to put ideas together so I understand why something is like that and what causes it what results from it and all of that so uh, most of my time now especially during my um, study when I'm seeing a topic for the first time I use liquid text every single day to study for my subjects um, because of it's just an easy way to um, study and the fact that they also have unlimited canvas literally guys the canvas is unlimited that's really amazing i can literally write my notes anywhere as much as i want and i don't have to worry about running out of paper or having to go to the next page for me to link some ideas it's just a continuous massive canvas you know um, an infinite canvas and that is really awesome so then when i get tired of my monotonous study i rest a little bit I, I like to rest my mind a bit and most of the time when i do that i trace diagrams instead of just going out and doing something because i have really long study sessions because i have a lot of work to do i have a lot of notes to study and a lot of it has a lot of diagrams so when i'm relaxing if i don't have to go clean the house or cook or do some laundry or something like that if i don't have to do some work or maybe record my video for youtube um i mostly trace diagrams and procreate i can't draw to save my life and i i've always been tracing my diagrams but tracing diagrams on the ipad pro is on another level my diagrams look so beautiful and i'm so happy that you know 
I don't need to be, you know, like an artist to have beautiful diagrams. If you guys are interested to see other different ways that I use liquid text, you just let me know in the comments section down below. There is not really much I can show you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys want me to cover in the review that I'm going to be doing for liquid text um, in the next video. What are you guys interested to know about liquid text? And let me know if you guys are interested in seeing um, like maybe a compilation of daily vlogs of my flow of my study um session throughout the day if you guys are interested in that kind of thing just let me know as well in the comment section down below because maybe you guys want to actually like you know be with me every step of the way type of thing so you understand fully what i'm doing when i'm doing it and how i'm doing it and with what application and why not the other application so if you guys are interested in that kind of information just let me know i, I can do a video for that um, but for this video, this is basically what I use liquid text for. It's a great application But before I review it, I just wanted you guys to look at it and see how I use it and how it can be useful for you Before I get into the full review. So until next time, I will see you guys in the next video Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already turn on your notifications if you're already subscribed turn on your notifications so you know when i release a new video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you hate it well for those of you that are interested that would like to get some inspiration for writing notes or just you know inspiration to study and you can follow me on instagram um i will put a link to my instagram account in the section down below so you can follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in the next video bye